Now that I'm, I've grown so comfortable with the result, what I would do probably is if I'm doing a touch-up, I would ask the practitioner if it's doable to bring my hairline up a little bit or, you know, down. I don't know whether to call it up or down. Everybody is uh, uh, calling it different, but that would be something I would consider yeah, and I, I was just going to say that I think that's a great thing about keeping the hairline a little bit higher, especially, I mean, we, you know, you probably know yourself that, you know, with, with scalp culture, we always keep the hairline slightly higher at first anyway. But, you know, like with yourself, for example, you, you did go for the receded look, but you do obviously have the option to, to lower that later on in time if you, if you wanted to, you know? That's exactly what I was uh, offered during my consultation they explained to me the way it was going to be done uh, we discussed what i wanted you know uh, we drew a, a mock airline i mean you know to show me did i like this did i like that and i kept on going more and more receding because i wanted to follow my natural hairline uh, wherever there was hair left and then as uh, the artist was scattering around whatever was drawn drawn i mean it so happened that it, it like it, it came like maybe a millimeter below my airline but it looks amazing Excellent. I, I mean, i'm sorry to say i'm sorry to say myself that it looks amazing but uh, uh <laughs> i'm very pleased yeah, well, thank you very much for joining us, Mark, and especially for taking the time out, you know, at 3 a.m. in the morning in uh, in Thailand where you are there. We do appreciate that. And I just found that, you know, this conversation is interesting for people to hear it from a, a customer's point of view. Um, you know, they, they, we hear a lot of, a lot from artists that, that do the treatments, but it's very nice as well to hear it live from somebody who's had the treatment, you know, and, and listen to your thoughts on, uh, on the treatment. So we do appreciate you sharing that with us. And I, I can only say that I do appreciate the fact that I've come across your uh, company and uh, you really change life. I think, uh, you know, you don't just change head, you change life because, as I said, I wasn't even aware anymore of the side, uh, down, down, downside of uh, the hair loss since I had been living with it for so long. But it does build your confidence back you feel good about it and uh, you, you feel younger whether you look younger or not is maybe uh, uh, up to whoever to decide but what it is it makes you feel better inside i'm sure of that I definitely agree with you there. I mean, I, I to myself sometimes, you know, I would really dread to see myself with, you know, no hairline there whatsoever. I think especially as you're getting a little bit older as well. I mean, uh, you know, I'm, I'm getting a little bit older myself now. And I think I don't think there's anything wrong with keeping up on your appearance as well. You know, I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all. I, I think that we live in a world where your appearance is important more than it used to be. And uh, being a... Uh, I believe it's called metrosexual is a quality more than, uh, you know, in the 1980s, 90s, they were like uh, uh, a man who would take care of himself would be considered not a man, a man had to be rugged. And uh, But I believe that we live longer, we live older, so we may as well try to live looking our best because it makes us feel good. If you enjoyed this clip from the Scalp Culture podcast, be sure to check the links in the description box below to see the full video.